So I stumbled upon an idea to use brown butter to fat wash my bourbon. And then Serious Eats said, save the butter and make something with it. So I'm making some brown butter fat washed bourbon and some bourbon brown butter shortbread. The reason to fat wash your spirits is to infuse some flavor into them. You can use any fat, bacon fat, coconut oil, whatever you want to use. And also to give the spirit a silkier mouthfeel. So I'm gonna take one stick of butter. I'm gonna melt it on the stove top. I like to use this metal pan instead of nonstick because then I can see when the butter turns brown and avoid burning the butter. So I just let that go until it's golden brown and nutty scented, and then I'm gonna mix that with about two cups of bourbon. I stir this together and let it sit at room temperature for about one to two hours, then throw it in the freezer overnight to let the butter separate. Then next day, I strain it all through a cheesecloth and then again through a coffee filter until I get all of the bourbon separated. I'm gonna put this bourbon right back in its bottle where it came from. So for the shortbread, I'm gonna take the bourbon butter and then another stick of butter at room temperature. I'm gonna cream them together. Add half a cup of toasted sugar, which is just white granulated sugar that you cook over very low heat. Then you beat the sugar and the butter together for about two to three minutes and then stir in a teaspoon of vanilla. In another bowl, combine 260 grams of flour, 32 grams of cornstarch, a pinch of salt and whisk that all together. Gradually add this dry stuff to your mixer bowl and then pour it onto a floured surface and then knead it a few times just until it all holds together. I'm gonna press this into an 11 by 7 parchment lined pan. I need a tool for this. Oh, I've got it. I've got just the idea. Yes! Sierra Nevada celebration. It's a celebration, bitches. Then I'm gonna score this with a paring knife and prick it with a fork and refrigerate it for two hours. Now while the dough is chilling, let's make a drink. So I start with two dashes each, orange bitters and Angostura bitters, a half ounce of turbinado syrup, and two ounces of my brown buttered bourbon. Stir this over ice and then strain it over a new chunk of ice and then garnish with an orange twist. Now the dough can come out of the fridge, so I'm gonna sprinkle the top of this with coarse sugar. Throw it in a 325 degree oven and pull it out after 35 minutes. Set it on a cooling rack and after five minutes, cut along the scored lines and let it cool completely in the pan. Oh my God. This bread can only be described as short and this fashion can only be described as old. This was worth it.